What's up guys and welcome to Cafe Owner Simulator. This one's been on my wish list for quite a while and I thought, you know what, maybe we just jump in and check it out together today. So if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video and maybe we'll bring it out, you know, as a, as a full-fledged series. Welcome to Castle Lake. I hear you're planning to open a restaurant and a motel here. If so, that's good news. Our town doesn't have enough places to eat and have a good time. My name is... Dries Owens, and I'm the local sheriff. I'm a, I'm a, call him Sheriff Owens. Maybe that name is um interesting. If you need my help, you can always call the police department. Good luck with your business, and have a good day. Oh my God, is that a, is that a moose? Not the, not the cat. There's like a moose right there, in the wood. What's going on? Okay, we can pet the cat. That's that's kind of cool. This is as far as we can go. So I, I know it seems like it's endless almost, um, but I don't think it actually is. Let's just... Oh, this must be our cafe. Okay. Not too shabby, really. Dude, there's cats everywhere. What's going on, kitty? How we doing? Got a little uh, mail slip right there, maybe. Then we have some leaves over here. Press F to take out the... Oh. F to take out the rake. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, nothing, nothing's happening. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here. It, it probably wants me to go over to this little symbol out here, I would imagine. So let's check that out first, and then maybe we'll actually be able to do some stuff. Let's see what we've got going on over here. Oh, electricity. Right, 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 right. Very important for a cafe, I would imagine. I guess it'll be like a hotel and a restaurant simulator, potentially. We'll find out before too long, I'm sure. All right, tools. You can find them in the tool store in the tablets. To use them after purchase, open your inventory by pressing F. Wonderful. Okay, back to the leaves. Let's see if we can actually... Okay, we can't rake any of those. Hang on. Yes, we can. It's just not illuminated like it was before. This is pretty satisfying. As we complete these tasks, it looks like we're also gaining XP. So I'm curious to see what we can what we can use our XP for. But let's just go. Hello. Um. Can I help you, sir? Why is he charging me? Okay, he's not. He's just running away. These neighborhoods are inhabited by homeless people, uh, just like everywhere else. From time to time, they may visit your establishment and ask for money, do harm, or sometimes just to observe. How you deal with them is up to you. Okay. Sounds, uh, sounds good. I'll probably just try to, like, scare them off, maybe? We've got more cats over here. The, uh, the inventory being F instead of tab is kind of tripping me up. Wait, can we pet the cat even though we have a rake right now? Yes, we can. And they love it. That's fantastic news. Dude, I didn't even see our tasks over there. Clean up all the trash outside and inside of the building. So we've got a lot of work to do yet. There is quite uh, quite a bit of trash. We need our rake once again. I thought we got all these leaves, but I guess not. There may even be some inside. Who knows? But we'll put that away and uh, we'll start picking up trash. This is reminding me a lot of House Flipper and all the trash that you just have to constantly clean up around uh, around the properties. Which, I know I've said it's not my not my favorite thing, but different game, new experience. I'm I'm not gonna hate on it too much immediately, at least. Oh, leveled up! Congratulations, your restaurant has been upgraded. Your reward money has already been deposited in your bank account, as well as. All right. You you gotta make the pop-ups last a little bit longer for people like me that read at a third grade level. That gave us 300 bucks though, already? That's, uh, what's going on here? Trash can is full, order trash removal at tablet under garbage removal, okay. When your dumpster is full, you can call the garbage truck to pick up the trash. This costs money. Only 50 bones though. That's not too bad. And now we should, oh, they've actually gotta show up and do it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, dude. I, I can appreciate that. Little bit of... I, I'm getting, like, internet cafe simulator vibes mixed with, like, gas station simulator. They are just about finished up. And away 
They go. Now we can keep cleaning up the trash, adjusting the exterior lighting. To turn on the outdoor lights or set the lights to turn on automatically, go to tablet and my restaurant. Okay, tablet, my restaurant. Uh, switch on time, turn lights on automatically. Let's do that. And then let's just turn them on now also so we can kind of see what that looks like. Dude, that ain't, that ain't bad. That very inviting, especially at nighttime. I love it. All right, round the back of the place. Let's just make sure there's no more trash back here. Can we? We can actually climb up there. And there's no trash over there. Let's see if there's any trash on the roof. That is a negative. But it does... Oh, hang on. We've got one can. One lonely can right over there. That, I think, does it for the trash. We can't jump over that railing for whatever reason. Uh, cans with reward. Periodically, you can find metal cans. Opening them will give you a random cash prize. We got money for that? and experience the cans can be found on all game levels that's really cool too okay but nothing else for us to do up here so i guess we'll just go ahead and jump down let's make our way inside now so we can start cleaning up all the trash in here doesn't look like we have any interior lights just yet we've got some more cans okay that's not the same can i guess different different type of can yeah, and there are leaves inside. Go figure. This dumpster fills up pretty fast, but I'm thinking like later on in game, picking up trash isn't going to be as much of a thing as it is like right now. But we'll uh, we'll keep on going here. I think we're about done, honestly. There's just like a whole tree branch inside of here as well. And rats! Rats everywhere! Good! We might have to do like some trapping or something. The heck is that? The heck is that? No oh, it's just a plane. Just a plane flying over. That kind of scared me, dude. Just, just a little bit. Okay, wrong button again. It's fine. It's fine. We've just got to get our little rake out here so we can clean up all these leaves and things that are inside. I was kind of wondering how they got in here, but then I realized like pretty much all of these windows are just completely shattered. Alrighty, task completed now. Purchase a net at the local tool store and catch all the rats in the establishment. I love that. $120 for a rat net. But you know what? We kind of need it. And it looks like we can get a mop eventually too. We'll probably need that before too long. Can we crouch or something? Do we got to sneak up on these varmints or we just we just go for it? Let's just run after them. Yeah, dude, that's that's the way to do it. That's the way to get it done. There we go, and there's just one more right there. Beautiful work. Okay, restore everything that's broken in the building. Windows, roof, foundation even. I don't know how to do any of that. Never mind. It tells us literally right above me to repair parts of the building, aim at a damaged part, and press left mouse button. Keep your building in good condition so that visitors have a good experience and leave a positive review. So I think this framed out portion is supposed to be like that i would think oh here's the foundation okay that's honestly honestly really easy i like this i really like this i thought it was going to be way more involved dude you can just go around the entire thing it's just a simple click easy as that so once we oh it costs money though once we finish the foundation Let's make our way back inside and we'll try to at least repair some of them windows. Oh, the roof needs repaired as well. When we were up there, I didn't see anything wrong with it, but maybe I, I didn't really know what I was looking for also. Almost done, I think. Just this last row. Level two already. Congratulations, your restaurant has been upgraded again. Reward money. Okay, it's the same thing as, as last time, but very cool. And then two more right there. All right, that should be the foundation done now. Let's put that away. We'll head on inside. It's kind of really dark. Having a hard time seeing if these windows are actually blown out or not. It's not letting me interact with them, though, so I think they're probably okay. Hey! Hey! Get out of here! Get out of here! No! The night was cold. I don't have anything to keep me warm anymore. Give me some money. I'll buy something to drink. I don't think a drink is going to keep you warm. I really need it now. If you don't give it to me, I'll break your windows and throw garbage at you. Okay, here's $15. Please leave me alone. And Like, pet the cats or something when you show up. Just 
Oh my god. All right, these windows though, these windows we can repair. And it looks like we do have to hold this one. We gotta head around back so we can go back up on the roof now. And then it looks like that just needs replaced. Oh, the whole roof is bad, dude. I just thought this was the way it was supposed to look. I didn't know any better. We can make quick work of this though. And then I think we'll probably have to do this lower section as well, I would imagine. We've got more windows to repair up here too. Well, we don't actually have to do that yet because we haven't expanded upstairs. The only area that we can really access is gonna be the main floor right now. I'm, I'm thinking when we unlock this door, there will be like a staircase or something that goes up to the next uh, next story. But what's next? Change the wall covering or wallpaper. Tablets, a vase zone? What the heck is that? Oh, it's like a discount Amazon. That's pretty funny. All right, we needed wallpapers or wall coverings. We've got brick, we've got brick, we've got brick. <laughs> There's also concrete there, but let's see what wallpaper has to offer. Got a red one, kind of a decorative one, too floral for me. Looks like a like a grandma house, maybe. Kind of looks like snakeskin, honestly. That one's not too bad. The red one's probably gonna be the best option. There's also paint. Can we just paint the walls white? Like, is, is that cool? Does that count as a, it does count as a wall covering. Okay, yeah, let's do that, dude. Get a nice clean look going on in here. The painting is also really similar to House Flipper. But I really like how the walls aren't like super, super skinny. You know, you can really paint a lot of wall at one time, which is kind of nice. Speeds things along. I gotta paint the ceiling, dude. Especially if we're gonna do smoke detectors next. I mean, those go on the ceiling, usually. Gotta, gotta have the ceiling looking nice, too. Already, dude, this place looks so much nicer than it did when we first started. Just a, a light coat of paint on some things really, really helps out. But anyways, install six smoke detectors evenly throughout the room. Evenly? Don't don't tell me that. I will start counting ceiling tiles and making sure that they are like perfectly even. Where do we buy those exactly? Tablets, Ava Zone, and then other. Okay, Ava Zone, other here at the bottom, and smoke detector right there. Okay, we can just place these anywhere on the ceiling. Six of them. Seems like kind of a lot. Let's place one in the back right there. That is 50 bones down the drain. We'll do another sort of in the front entryway. That looks pretty good up there. And then we'll do probably two in here, I would imagine. There's three out of six. Now four out of six. And then we just need two more. So we'll place another one right here. And then probably another one just there. Again, seems like a lot of smoke detectors, but more, I guess, isn't really a bad thing. What's next? Let's get to work on the menu. Open up tablet and then menu. Add at least five items to the menu. Okay. Seems easy enough. A pepperoni pizza? Is that all we can do? Oh no, there's sushi, lasagna, soups, mashed potatoes, and more stuff that you can unlock as you, you know, gain levels and things. I'm thinking a pepperoni pizza, for sure, 100%. Maybe some taters, some mashed potatoes. Who doesn't love those? Lasagna, margarita pizza. Oh no, it sounds like there's another homeless man. And then we'll just make it easy with turkey. Sure. All right, I think that's everything. Dude, what did I, you're the same guy. I already, ga I already gave you 15 bucks. If I don't pay you, he'll break my windows and throw gar I just fixed all the windows and I just cleaned up all the garbage. Here's $15. Please go away. All right, what's next up there? Let's order the food for cooking, tablet, food store, and order food items for the menu, then place them in the freezer. Seems easy enough. Let's go to food store. Here we go. This indicator displays the foods that are needed to prepare dishes from your menu. So right here, I'm sure that's pepperoni or something. If you bought a box of groceries by mistake or don't need it anymore, you can throw it out in the large trash can at the back of the restaurant. Got you, okay. Well, we've got those. Let's continue on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and so on and so forth and stuff and things or whatever. Kind of seems a little loud, but hopefully it's not too bad. And lastly, just those things. Okay. Oh, dude, we've got blue cow here. Only Fantas. 
uh, Dr. Poopa, Iron Bruh, Spritzy, Peepus. <laughs> That's probably the best one. Peepus is pretty good. And Seven Jump. Those are all fantastic soda names. Alrighty though, I think we've got all of our food ordered. Is this, is this everything? Cats, stay out of my food, please. Please, please stay out of that. Okay, thank you. Got another plane flying over. Um, do we need to like drop that to actually open the, open the walk-in? There, no, open the walk-in. Thank you. Now we can pick that back up and just fill the shelf. It's gone now, so we, oh, okay, I just put it over there. Got you. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Kind of time consuming, I'll admit, but we just need to pick up each individual box, put it in our uh, little freezer in there, and then we should be good to go. Maybe we can start cooking or maybe not yet. I don't know. We probably have to do some more setup stuff first, I'm sure. Let's start with the cash register for 500 bucks. Oh, wait, that needs electricity. So actually, in other, I believe this is the outlet. Let's get that going first. I think I want to put the cash register like here-ish, maybe? Let's try to just put the outlet right there. Hopefully that does good stuff for us. But now, back up to selling cash register. Can we rotate? Q and E to rotate, got you. Hopefully this isn't like the worst possible location for this thing. We're gonna try that and then power. Now we just have to plug it in to the outlets. Moving on now to the kitchen table, probably in furniture. There we go. We've only got, well, a, f a few different options, actually. One for $105 down there, and then this one for 260. It looks like that only has two chairs, whereas this one has four. So let's go with this one, and then I'm gonna place it up here. This will kind of be our, our eating area. Now we're gonna need to grab an oven. That's probably gonna be up in kitchen supplies. We've got a refrigerator right there. There's an oven. Any other options? Negative. Okay, I think we're pretty limited, you know, cause we're just starting out, but we'll grab this oven. And then I think I wanna place this kind of on the back side of the uh, walk-in freezer right there. Or walk-in fridge. What did I say, walk-in freezer? Same thing, I guess. This is definitely gonna need an outlet. So we'll place that right there. Now we can click on this connect the power right into there and we are ready to go with the oven on to the next thing a refrigerator even though we have a walk-in one we still have to get a, a standard one i guess you have unpaid bills pay them on time if you don't pay your current bills before the next one comes in you'll accrue a penalty okay i guess we just have to pay six dollars and 70 cents for electricity is is all and then five bucks for gas that's only $12, that's not bad at all. They kind of made it sound like it was this big deal. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, there's another homeless person out there. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing now though. We have our cash register, we have our kitchen table over here, we have our oven and a refrigerator. Everything that needs to be plugged in is. So I don't, maybe we just need to wait for something else to happen. I have no idea. What are you doing here? Why, why do you keep showing up? I, I don't understand. Can you at least, like, interact? He just... He just disappeared. Okay, then. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I think I might have actually just figured it out. This is the kitchen table. Not not the thing that we put over in the, in the elevated portion over there. This guy needs to go right next to the refrigerator. If it'll let us place it here, I mean. There we go. Task completed. Finally. So we didn't really need the dining table up there, I guess. Uh, what do we got now, though? Place a kitchen hood over the stove and a sink, as well as two tables. Okay, so we just need one more of those tables. That's not a big deal. We can place this one in the other corner. Easy as that. That is a very, very large uh, ventilation hood. But let's get that connected to the power right here. And that one is good to go as well. Okay, now we just need a sink and I think we're ready to go. This is a pretty solid looking kitchen already. Not to, you know, pat myself on the back too much, but turned out all right. Next up, we need to hire an employee at the kitchen table and install two lamps. Okay, let's start with the employee. Your staff, it's empty. Uh, how do I how do I hire somebody? Each employee is gonna have different work speed, different communication skills, different motivation, 
I'm I'm kind of leaning more towards Peter right now. It's between Peter or Chuck. Uh, salary per day is seventy dollars for the two of them. Oh, we need to pay a headhunter again. Cool. Well, I guess we're stuck with Daniel now. Let's just hire that guy, Daniel. I need you to work at uh, at this table for me. Look at that dude. He's even got a little chef hat on. My dude. All right, Danny boy, uh, give me just a moment here. I need to get two lamps so we can actually have a little bit of light in here. I'm going to place one kind of in the, the dining area, and then we'll place this other one sort of just above, actually maybe even a little further back, right behind that smoke detector. That way Danny boy has a little bit more light to work with back there. All righty, dude, are we, uh, are we ready? Oh, place two bio toilets outside? What, what does that mean? Is that like a porta potty or like a porta john? It is a porta potty, and they're five hundred dollars a pop, dude. Let's place them kind of close to the to the place to the cafe, um, but not super close because they can get uh, a little stinky. I'll place one of those there, and the other just to the left of it. Task completed once again. Open a restaurant and serve five customers. It's our next uh, next task. Okay. So we should be able to just open right here, right? You have opened the restaurant to move the equipment and hire new workers. You need to close the establishment. Got you. Hello, ma'am. How can I, how can I help you? We have an order for mashed potatoes. Danny, Danny, get on the, how do I, I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> I have no idea how to do any of this. It's just mashed potatoes. It shouldn't be this difficult. I don't see that anywhere over here. Is it in other? It is. Okay. Next order then, a margarita pizza. Oh, to take more orders at once by the kitchen tables. It's a very, very loud flyover every time. So we just need Danny Boy to do his thing. Oh, she's on her phone now, that's that's good. And then once he's done, we can start the next one. Ready orders, take, and then did she actually, she did actually sit down. Here is your food, ma'am, enjoy and stuff and things or whatever. All right, we've got quite the line here, Danny boy. Let's get after it. We need a pizza and a margarita pizza. That's gonna be this one. There are no places for customers to sit down. What? Yes, there is. Oh, right, because we only have the two tables. So they just left then? They can't just hang out until like one of these ladies is finished eating? Let's buy that mop. Where do we get the mop at? Tool store, 50 bones. Thank you so much. Now it's F to pull that out. And we can just clean that up. Uh, the rating of your restaurant is the most important indicator. I can't even clean that right now because this pop-up. Uh, it's displayed. Oh, and Danny's done. I don't need to read it, I guess. Margarita pizza. Gotta pick that up and take it to the lady. Wait, 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 wait. Is that money? Dude! Dude, we got big money. And, okay, this guy again. Here's $15. Go on, get. Wait, that was only $7. Okay, that's that's cool, that's cool. And then you would like some taters. We will get Danny Boy right on that. Please go have a seat, ma'am. Thank you so much for your business. Let's see about cleaning this up now. There it is. All right, it's beautiful. Sorry, sir. Uh, we're kind of full right now. Come back later, though. Please. I need your business. The other lady just left. She also left us some trash, but that's okay. What is that? Is that just, do we need like a wet floor sign or something out there? I see a little icon above it, but she also left us some Skrilla. There we are. Let me take a look at this. Do we need to clean that up? Yeah, we do, dude, with the mop. Are you joke for why though? Good afternoon, ma'am. Give me just a moment. I need to take some mashed potatoes to a lady up here. Sometimes wind blows leaves and trash towards your cafe. Make sure to look around every once in a while to uh, to clean it all up. There you are, ma'am. Enjoy your food. We've got some more footprints starting over here, but let's get old Danny boy on another margarita pizza. Thank you so much, ma'am. Hi, uh, yeah, we have nowhere for you to sit down right now. I should really get another table, but it, it didn't tell me to. It only it only had to start with the two, so I guess we'll just um, keep it at that. But let's grab our mop so we can clean this up again, and then we'll go we'll go have a look. Oh no, we won't. No, we won't either. Let's get our money off the table. 
And then now we'll go have a look outside and just make sure we can uh, keep everything nice and clean for these customers. Since Danny Boy just finished the pizza, we've got another order here for some lasag. That's probably not in pasta, really? It's in other. Okay, I would have totally put that with the pasta stuff, but that's cool. Margarita pizza coming right up. Sorry for uh, sorry for the slight weight there, man. Level three. Level three already, dude. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, we don't have anywhere for you to sit. Sorry. Come back in a few minutes. Okay, please. Need your business. All right, Danny boy. The lasag. The lasag is finished. Here you are, ma'am. Enjoy your food. Congratulations. You have successfully completed your training. You're ready to start working and developing your restaurant. We've already transferred $200 to your bank account as a reward for completion. Excellent. 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 All right, dude. We are ready. Hey, hey. He just, he just broke my window. Dude, I, I gave you 15. I've given you a lot of money, actually. And he just broke my window like that. Unbelievable. We'll get a new one put in there for 30 bucks, but, um, wow, that's, that's rough, man. Anywho, I think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.